Now, you've got a, an interesting, a very serious note. You have a very interesting program on this afternoon. Peggy, there is a story rolling out of Oberon of state significance in relation to Mayfield Garden and a proposed quarry some five kilometres from the garden but in the line of sight. Now, the quarry is for road-based materials as well as waste management. It's, uh, it's quite a massive expansion on what is there now. Garrick Hawkins, owner of Mayfield, has said that... That should the quarry go ahead, uh, he will be put in a position where he will need to look at closing Mayfield Gardens. And I'm sure you can appreciate that the economic ramifications of that would be just extraordinary. In fact, the figures that have been put forward by Mayfield Garden is some $165 million loss to the community over the next five years yeah. alone. Yeah, and... and uh as uh, it's becoming a more and more important part of the community too. I mean, it, uh, not only does the, the gardens go, but also the work leading up to and establishing the garden as well as a wonderful attraction for people to go and visit. Look, it's a fantastic employer in the region. Uh, it's set to attract some 55,000 visitors Uh uh, this year, uh, and they're looking at numbers of around about 250,000 per year coming to the gardens by uh, the the year 2022. Yeah. So a massive tourist attraction, an absolutely extraordinary project, a garden, if anyone's been out there. And whilst there's no denying that we need materials for road base, I guess the question that needs to be asked is, does it need to be in the vicinity and in the line of sight of such an extraordinary and important tourist attraction in our region. Okay, so what are you trying to attract this afternoon? Look, this afternoon I'll be speaking with Zach Rowlandson. He's uh, he's an Oberon generational uh, man who uh, who is the proponent. He's actually looking at expanding the quarry. I'll be speaking with representatives from Mayfield Garden, Amy Collins, a commercial advisor to Garrick Hawkins, and Hamish Keith, the CEO. I'll also speak with Cathy Sajewitz, the Mayor of Oberon Council. Yeah. Of course, this DA originally went through the council, through to uh, the Regional Planning Committee, and I'll be catching up with a representative from State Government. At this stage, I had received a phone call early this morning from a member for Bathurst, Paul Toole. Uh, we'll look at speaking with the Planning Minister this afternoon, uh, or indeed we'll be catching up with Paul Toole. So that'll be between 3 and 4 this afternoon. I think I think anyone uh, in the community who's interested in economic development is going to be interested to hear all sides of the story. Uh, mm. It's uh, it certainly is it's deeply concerning. Yeah, so so we're going to have all sides of the story, as you said a moment ago. You're going to have people from the quarry, also people from Mayfield Gardens, government, local government. Everybody's going to be covered. Absolutely, and I should just say as well from the get go that Gary Hawkins is not anti the quarry. He's not anti economic development beyond his own. I mean, we're talking about an extraordinarily uh, astute businessman uh, with interests, international business interests, who, of course, has put this uh, amazing uh, gift together to, to the community. He's just simply saying, does it really need to be in the line of sight of Mayfield Gardens? So, look... With these things, everybody's got a point of view and it'll be very interesting to tease that out this afternoon. Will they be covering alternatives, you know, for, for say, the quarry, for example? Um, has there been any alternatives put forward? Look, there hasn't been any alternatives put forward. There have been some discussions, but not of, uh, I guess, of a casual nature as to where the quarry might go otherwise. But, look, in fairness to Zach, he's a couple of hundred thousand dollars and a whole lot of planning done down the track of the quarry expanding. Let's bear in mind that there is a quarry there now, but certainly not of the of the size that is proposed. I guess the, one of the questions that you, has come out of it is whether or not, in fact, uh, it's fair to have Oberon Council as the instrumentality and the Western Region Planning Panel to actually look at a development of this significance. So that's something that, you know, I'll be looking at this afternoon. 
Going to be a very interesting program. That's between 3, three and, and 4 o'clock four. this afternoon. I'll do the first hour of Talk of the Town mm. and then Deaky will jump back in and uh, do the other two hours. Yeah. So I think for tourism operators, I think for anyone in business that's interested in uh, the future economic development of our region, they're, they're going to find this interesting stuff. Now, if anybody wanted to make a public comment on that, if they give the, our, our uh, front desk a ring... Absolutely. ...on 63317777, you can organise to maybe fit them in because, you know, uh, between three and four, you know, you, you may find that all of a sudden you've got a stack of people wanted to talk to you. You may have to extend a frame. Look, certainly, know. and that's one of the things that I'll be chatting with Mayfield Garden about this afternoon is if uh, what, what outlet is there for people who may want to make a comment in relation to this either way. Yeah. Okay, thanks for that. Thanks, Peggy. Uh, it's on this afternoon. Uh, in sort of in place of talk of the town, really, isn't it? So well, it's time, not really. So, yeah. No, look, it's just uh, from time to time there are issues that come up in the community that I think really need some further investigation. And look, you know how much I love that stuff. You know mm. how much I love digging around and digging around, getting all sides out there. So really, ultimately, listeners can make up their own minds. That's really what it's about. All righty, thanks for that. Uh, between three and four, the sound.